You know what's cool? Evolution. Evolution makes me go, yes. And you know what's also cool? Programming. Programming makes me go, yes. So I decided I'm going to make a simulation of evolution in Unity. First of all, you better subscribe to this channel. Hairline reveal at 50 subs. Do it. Now. Okay, so first of all, what the heck is evolution? Like, what is that? So anyway, so we're going to use an example. So let's say we have these creatures. They're uh, blue squares. They're pretty simple. They're just blue squares. And where these blue squares live, um, it's actually really good to be red. For some reason, being red is a good thing. Because maybe they live in red grass and camouflage and stuff. I don't know. But they're not having a very good time because, you know, being red is good and they're blue. Anyway, so being red is better. Now, they are going to reproduce and make children. Now, these children, they're not going to be exactly like their parents. Because they're rebels. No, they're not Not because they're rebels. Because cause, um, cause of genetic mutation. They're not going to be the same color as their parents. Because when they receive their genes from their parents, the copying isn't perfect. There's mutations. They're not going to be exactly the same color as their parents. Now, because they live in a dangerous environment, uh, not all of them are going to survive long enough to have their own children. Some of them are going to die. And it's more likely that the ones that survive are the more red ones. Because when you're red, it's easier to survive. And this is called natural selection or survival of the fittest. Now, when these slightly redder than average creatures have their own children their children will also be redder than average because their parents were redder than average and that means that the next generation will be redder than the previous generation and it doesn't even matter if this slight redness is barely noticeable because it's going to happen every single generation until you reach a point where it's not an advantage to be any more red so the point of this is each generation is better suited for survival than the previous generation because they receive their genes from the better members of that generation who survived long enough to reproduce. Okay, so the creatures in this simulation are going to be randomly positioned nodes connected by muscles, and they're going to be tested on how far they can travel to the right. The point of this simulation is to eventually get the creatures to evolve to travel to the right as far as possible. Now, each node will have an X and a Y position, plus a weight and an amount of friction. And then the muscles are going to have a strength value and a sequence of expansions and retractions. So they'll know when to push the nodes apart and when to pull them together. So we're going to generate a ton of creatures and we're going to rank them by how far they travel to the right. And then we're going to eliminate all of them except for the very best ones. And we'll replace the deleted ones with copies of the best ones. So these copies are going to be slightly mutated, so maybe they'll lose a node, or gain a node, or maybe the properties of the muscles or nodes will be changed. And we'll keep repeating the process, ranking them by how far they go, then deleting all of them except for the very best ones, and then copying them, and then mutating them, and we'll keep doing that until we have a creature that's actually capable of writing to the right. And I just need to code this into Unity, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is the first generation of creatures in the simulation. Obviously, since there's been no evolution going on yet, they're pretty stupid. All they're doing is just flopping around randomly. But eventually, they'll get better, and they'll actually be able to move to the right. Okay, so I waited for about 800 generations to pass, and this is what I saw when I came back. So right now, it seems that their strategy is to jump really high and really far so they can fly as far as possible. Then when they get really close to the ground, they contract all their muscles together so they can roll as far as possible. So that seems to be the strategy that they've decided on. And remember, I didn't program them to do any of this. I just gave them some rules and a physical environment, and they figured this out all by themselves. So that's pretty crazy. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, sorry about it being super boring. boring. Anyway, remember, hairline reveal at 50 subs. Goodbye.